Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is about learning or practicing to not give a shit what other people think about you. Let's dive in. Man, so where do we start with this? Caring what other people think. Why do we do it? Where does it come from? Well, I believe it comes from a few different places, but I think the most important thing is to recognize this. When you do something, or not do something rather, and you don't post the picture you wanted to post, or you don't share the poem that you wrote, or the song, uh, or something that is important to you, and you stop yourself because you are caring about what other people think, you're robbing not only yourself, you're robbing other people of the gift that you have to offer when it comes to your talents, your passions, whatever it may be. And also, in an even more extreme example, you may be missing out on what you really want to do in life because you're too afraid what other people are going to think about you. Are they going to judge you? Are they going to condemn you? Are they going to make fun of you? So what happens is when we live by these opinions of other people, and we're worried about what other people are going to think, it prevents us from doing what we really want to do. And do you really want to live life like that? The answer is no. Imagine getting to the end of your life and you realize that everything you were doing was just to make other people happy. But the trade-off of doing that and living and being like that was you realized that you never got to do the things that you really wanted to do. You never got to pursue the career you wanted to do. You never got to start that business. You never got to uh, start the hobby or the passion, you know, learn to play the instrument, whatever it is, um, become an influencer on social media, whatever it is. You didn't do it because you were too worried about what other people think. And this is suffocating because in the end, again, if you're living just to please other people, you're not living your own life. You're literally just going along with the crowd and you're preventing yourself from being truly fulfilled and happy. Because the reality is when you pursue what you really want to pursue and what you're really meant for, you won't give a shit about what other people think. And I made videos on the past about this that I think are very important to look at. One is first of all, connecting with the vision that you have for your life. What is it that you want for your life? When you connect with that vision and understand what it is you want for your life, then all of a sudden you won't really care about what other people think. I also think that we prevent ourselves, and I'm no different from you. I'm no different from you. These are just lessons that I've learned through my own experience and why it's important to make this video to talk about it because I know I'm not the only one that's gone through this that we prevent ourselves from doing and pursuing the things that we want to pursue again because of the judgment of others. But here's the thing about that that you have to understand is that if you begin to shine your light and you really pursue what you want to do and what's important to you, what's happening is you are moving on to another level. And what that's going to do is as you raise your vibration and raise your energy and move on to another level, there's a couple things that are going to happen. You're going to do two things to people. I heard Wes Watson talk about this the other day. He said, as you rise and elevate and you shine your light pursuing what you really want to do and what's important to you, you're either going to trigger people's insecurity or you're going to inspire people. And it's one or the other. And you can't really elevate to another level and go about what you want without triggering other people. Because here's what's really happening. When you go ahead and pursue that thing you want to do, right? You start your own YouTube channel, you start the podcast, you start writing, you start playing an instrument, you start wanting to pursue the business. When you trigger people, you have to understand is that, that the people that get triggered, what's happening is that you're just reminding them of the things they're not doing. So it makes them feel inadequate because you're just the reminder of what they're capable of, but they're not pursuing. And so they're jealous, they're triggered by what it is that you're going after and they don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to succeed because it makes them feel uncomfortable because again, it's like you shining a flashlight on their shadow, on their dark spot. And nobody likes to feel that way when they're uncomfortable or most people don't, I do. Uh, but that's another topic for another story. So I'll give you a personal story about you know myself and triggering people's insecurities because the reality is your haters are your biggest fans and they envy you the most 
because they want to do what you're doing. They're just not willing to do the work or be courageous enough or heal themselves in order to get to that, that spot. So, you know, it's, it's funny on Facebook, I've been getting a lot of uh, recurring memories, right? On Facebook, you know, to say, hey, you know, three years ago, remember you were doing this and five years ago. So it, it, it's funny, all the stuff that's coming up on my Facebook memories, as I'm posting all my content now, it's stuff from when I was a trainer five years ago and I started my YouTube channel. And my workout partner, Tome and I, or Tal Physique, shout out to you if you're watching this, bro. Uh, we both started YouTube channels. He kept going and I stopped. Uh, that's another story as well. But the point I want to make with it is when we started and we both bought cameras, I worked in this uh, co-working gym space. It was kind of like a we work for gym, right? So it was like me and all my clients and this guy and his clients and this girl and her clients and whatnot. We just paid rent and shared the space together, right? So when we got cameras and he's like, we should start YouTube channels. And I was like, I'm down. When we came in with cameras, we started filming. Everybody was triggered as shit. All the other trainers were so triggered. Um, and I know it's because they knew that he and I were one. We had a, you know, we had a good bond, man. We're, and we both had big personalities. So they knew that we were going to be successful. And his channel's blowing up. And I couldn't be happier for him. Um, and then I, my camera, I was super careless, so I stopped, but I need to learn some life, life lessons, but I digress. Um, but what happened was there was an instance when we got cameras, everyone was triggered and I was in the middle of a training session with one of my clients. It was just me and her. And, you know, of course there's other trainers around, but I'm in a professional one-on-one -on -one paid session that my client is paying me for to train her. And we're doing like lap pull downs and in this gym, the lap pull down machine was like off in the corner. And one of the trainers was so triggered out of nowhere, literally mid session while I'm like giving her instruction, we're going through the workout. He comes up and he goes, you know, looks at me and he goes, you know, at some point you're going to have to decide if you want to be some actor or if you want to be a good trainer. <laughs> and her and I looked at each other like, what the fuck just, what just happened? Like, what is going on? And I, I just looked at him and I was like, I can't even remember what I said. Her and I just looked at each other kind of like stunned. Like, did he, what the hell is this guy's problem? Like, we, we're working out right now. Literally in the middle of a session, the, you know, the wild thing is he's a trainer too. Like, you don't interrupt someone's session so you can say how to, like, hey, what's up? Their client, right? We all knew each other and all that. But to come up and like interrupt my session because he was so triggered, he felt the need, the need to do that. Now, I share that because, again, it goes back to you uh, triggering other people and understanding if they negatively respond to you, what's happening. Now, what happened was a, a period of time passed. I don't know if it was a couple of weeks or a month or something, two months, who knows? doesn't matter. And I remember we were talking or he came up to me and he opened up to me and he was like, man, you know, he's like, gosh, you know, I just, I really wanted to start posting stuff on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, and, and really like get, the stuff because he was like a triathlete coach, uh, you know, endurance athletes and, and trained like a, a lot of cyclists and stuff. And they would come in. He's like, you know, I wanted to share my knowledge and stuff on social media. I just haven't done it. And um, I was, you know, I can't remember what I said, but it's like, you know, I'm like, whatever, get over it. Like, just start posting that shit. You know what I mean? I don't know what you want me to do about it. Like, I, I'm not going to do it for you. I don't know what the hell you want to talk about. Like, but I was there to listen and kind of help him through it and talk and whatnot. But the point is, is that he was so triggered by me and my workout partner expanding on social media and sharing our gifts, our passion with everybody in order to make everyone better, help, help in whatever way we can, that he was so triggered, he didn't, again, he didn't want me to succeed. He, he felt the need and it was so, so upset that he needed to stop and, you know, felt, uh, felt the need to comment in the middle of my session with my client, right? So I say that because it was a clear example of someone getting triggered as when you pursue something that's really important to you that you want to do, how they can be negatively affected and then project their insecurities onto you. So that's what happened. So if that happens to you, just throw nothing but love and compassion to that person because they're hurting and they're upset, not with you. They don't care what you're doing. You're just the trigger for their own pain and their own insecurities. So understand that because that's inevitable. That's going to happen. As you begin to shine your light and you pursue what you want and your vibration and energy raises, it's going to trigger those people. Again, you're either going to trigger people's insecurities or you're going to inspire them to want to get better and take action. We're not worried about those people who are triggered. 
your, their pain, their happiness is not your responsibility. And that goes back to the subject at hand on today's video is to not give a shit about what other people think. Because let me ask you, in your life, who is responsible for your happiness? Is it your boss or your parents or your friends or your partner or your kids or whatever? Are they responsible for your happiness or are you responsible for your happiness? No one has control over your life but you. So it's the same thing with other people. Don't give a shit or worry about what other people think because the way they feel, their happiness is not your responsibility just like your own feelings are your responsibility. So when you live in a place of where you're trying to do things for others, and there's nothing wrong with being considerate, right? Don't take it out of context. Listen to what I'm saying here. Your feelings, your happiness are your responsibility. Those people's happiness, their feelings, it's their responsibility. And all you have to do is focus on doing you. Just like the saying says, do you. Don't worry about anybody else, okay? Don't worry about them projecting their shit onto you. You're up to better things. You need to focus on your vision and all the people you can help. Uh, I believe it was, um, I think it was, it's Andy Frisella, and I'm not gonna look it up right now, but I was watching his stories today. And uh, it's, you know, of course, the irony, the synchronicity, right? He had a, a short... Um, quote or explanation about the something that he posted that's similar to this and it was something along the lines of like the people that you know are hating on you the question that you shouldn't be asking should not be asking is oh what are they gonna think of me what you should be asking is the people who want to hear what you have to say how can I provide value and help those who are interested so it's a, it's a matter of focus but do not live your life worrying about other people's feelings and situations and, and and again don't take it out of context to say oh i don't care be you know and do gives a shit about anyone else that's not what i'm saying at all it's quite the opposite because what really happens is this when you begin to pursue what's important to you and your passions what happens is you will inspire people you will move the people forward the people that you trigger they just have some healing to do before they're ready to discover their own purpose and what they want to do so again do not worry about you know, what's going on with other people's feelings, their actions, you need to focus on your own vibration, your own alignment with what you want to do. The best thing you can do for anybody, think of it like this also, the best thing you can do for anybody that you care about um, and, and who is triggered or hurting or whatever is focus on yourself and become a better version of yourself. As you become a better version of yourself, what happens is your energy raises. And when your energy raises and you vibrate at a higher level, you're becoming a more positive, loving, amazing, financially successful, whatever version of yourself, an improved version. Think about everyone that gets to interact with you or be around your energy as a result of you focusing on yourself and becoming a better version. Everybody's better for it. So the more, the irony is, the more you actually focus on yourself rather than making everybody else happy, the better everybody else around you is because they get to be around someone with such positive, uh, focused, amazing, inspiring energy. So I frame it to you like that. So let go of what other people think. Who gives a shit? Now, how do we start with this? Well, again, I've made some other videos on my channel about having a vision for your life. When you really get into alignment, and can visualize from your heart what you what you want your life. It's crazy, as I've spoken with clients recently, and I've asked them, I'm like, when was the last time you wrote out on paper the vision for your life, or what you want your life to be like? And a lot of them are saying, I've never done that in my life. Imagine that. If you don't, if you say I wanna like, you know, I wanna go on a trip, and I go, great, where do you wanna go? Um, and we, you're like, I don't know, we just get in the car driving, who knows where the hell we're gonna end up? right? You got to know where you want to go. You got to know the final destination and what it looks like. And then you can begin to plan the steps in order to design and create your life. You're not a victim of your circumstances. You can create that life you want. So you've got to get clear on what the vision is. When you have a vision of what you want your life to be like, and what makes you happy, then you can start to make steps and really start to create the fulfilling life that you want and you deserve. But it will come with people that are triggered or inspired, right? They're either gonna feel insecure or inspired. But as I've said before, I'm not worried about that. Another um, example that I'll share is, uh, and I wanna make this a point and something to understand. When you begin to develop this new identity and this new life that you want, 
In order to create the new life that you want, you have to leave behind the old life that you had. And this involves dropping old jobs, friendships, relationships, people, habits. The old you has to die. <laughs> they really do. Because you're creating a new identity, a better version of yourself. And the life that you want, that better version of yourself, it's an entirely new life. It's an entirely new person. You're going to be different as a millionaire and a multimillionaire, whatever it is, than you are right now. And if you're already a multimillionaire, great. Whatever your next goal is, that's going to take a better version of you. And if you've already achieved that success, I don't need to tell you because you've already probably had a few transformations as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as someone who's responsible and, and good at managing their money. So every new version of your life will require a new version of you. Now, again, the reminder is to be ready to let go of the old. Because if you're still hanging on to the old, then you don't have space and you need to expand to allow the new to come in. Uh, there's an old personal development book uh, that I recommend you read. I've recommended it before. It's called uh, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. There's a couple of things that are important in there. One of them, he says, is that we're basically every human being has like a computer system in them much like a torpedo that if you program in the end destination into the computer that torpedo will eventually reach its destination it's the same thing with us if we have our goals that we want there's a way to access our subconscious and unconscious mind in order to program our computer to keep us on the right track to what it is we want to achieve and he talks about practices in order to access the subconscious mind and get to deeper levels uh, into your your um, psyche. Now, the part that I want to share with you is about not caring about what other people think. It's about developing a new identity. And what he says is, you can only create the reality that you want that's in congruence with the identity and the image that you have of yourself. So in other words, if you want to be a millionaire, but you have this subconscious belief of like a poor kid you'll never be a millionaire because it's incongruent with your subconscious beliefs so you've got to develop a new identity so it starts with developing a vision for your life and then understanding that the growing process is developing becoming a new person that will be incongruent with that vision they always say that you know being a millionaire isn't about the money that you have it's about the person that you become in the process and if you watch a lot of these these people these um you know in influential personal developments even spiritual people they all say the same thing you know but especially like in the entrepreneurial space they'll say it they're like it dude if i went broke today and i didn't have any money i'd be a millionaire in no time at all you know why because they have the identity of a millionaire they know what it takes to get there because they've done it before so they know they can do it again so you've got to develop a vision and then a new identity that's congruent with that vision and then be willing to let old situations, people, jobs, habits go. And that's where, again, the core of this video is about is not giving a shit about what other people think. Focusing on what you want. Because what a shame it would be for you to get to the end of your life and look back and look at all the regrets you had because you were living to make everyone else happy and not really going for what it is that you truly wanted to achieve in your heart because you were too busy people pleasing. So again, Take it in context, right? It doesn't mean that we're just inconcerted. We don't give a shit about anyone but ourselves. Of course not. No, we do need other people. We do need relationships. Connection is important. But what's important is to... Another, another guy pops in my mind, Dr. Wayne Dyer. And he says that he was always had this ability to uh, be independent from the good opinions of other people. So other people are going to have many opinions about your path that you choose or hobbies or something that's going to fulfill you. Oh, you're going to really start that business? They're like, yeah, I am. And, you know, whatever. If they're going to have their opinions, cool. You get to be independent from the good opinions of other people. So develop that vision, develop the identity, and learn to really ground into who you are and be unaffected by the opinions of other people, good or bad. Because, again, when you really know what you want to do, you're just in alignment. And you just do it because it's who you are. It's what you enjoy doing. So I hope this video was helpful today. And if it was, please like, subscribe, uh, leave any comments that you have, share. Uh, if you're interested in coaching with me, I do fitness coaching and I also do lifestyle coaching as well. And there's links in the bio, easy to get a hold of me and whatnot. But I'm happy to answer any questions. Again, I'm no different than you. I'm just on my path. And I have learned some things 
uh, and a skill set that can also open up some perspective to help you see for yourself, you know, what is it I want for my life? What is blocking me? Why, why don't I go for these things? Um, so I'd love to chat, love to interact. Please let me know. I'm easy to get a hold of. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Hope this was valuable for you and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you soon.